And I bet Erkiti's fortunate in his own right to go out there and get that 20th start of the season. It's a big start for him, too, leading into this postseason. A lot of questions around who's going to be that third starter. Maybe an opportunity for him to go out there and finish his season strong. And no surprise, Mark Cannon gets hit. Why not? All is right in the universe. And now Pinder into center field. Chaz McCormick lines it up. That'll do it for the A's in the first inning. The southpaw swerving Cole Irvin making his 32nd and final start of the season. Ground ball to short one hop and Cosmos got it flipped to first in time and Irvin works a one two three bottom of the first and after one the A's and the Astros no score. To the second there's no score in Houston the A's coming up against the Rikidi. That one's hit deep to right field, and that baby's gone. Seth Brown on a 1-2 pitch, homers for the 19th time, and the A's have a 1-0 lead. Flex on him. McCormick would like to get to 50 RBIs if he can. As you can see, that 49 run batted in mark is seventh in the rookie class in the American League. And Chaz goes to deep right field. This could be RBI number 50 on the home run by Chaz McCormick. 14th home run of the year, Chazzy Fizz ties up the game at one. I'm just gonna let you keep making calls. If guys need to get the numbers, they need to listen to Todd. Here's Tony Kemp. Tony, a fly ball to center's first time. A four hit game last night for the first time in his career. Here's the 1 1, and that is hit toward left. Back goes Brantley at the Crawford boxes, and in it goes to the boxes for Tony Kemp. It's a career high with eight home runs for TK. And the A's back ahead, two to one. What a season for Tony Kemp for the Athletics. The mighty might has come through yet again. Bottom of the third inning, Oakland leads two to one. It's been all solo homer so far in this game. Jake Myers, oh my goodness, up on the train tracks. The sixth train has just left Union Station to tie the game up at two. That's by far his longest home run as a major leaguer. Bolt hits a fly ball to left field. Michael Brantley has to move just a few steps back. And a good inning for Jose Urquidy. It's his first one, two, three inning of the day. Barrera leading off for the Athletics against Urquidy. And the first pitch is a breaking ball. Slap to left toward the line. That's going to get down for a hit. Brantley plays it back. And Barrera holds with his second major league hit. That's a base hit left center field. Barrera's got good speed. He'll wheel around second and head to third. So the A's have first and third and nobody out in the top of the fifth. His first major league hit man that has to feel good since 2018. So first and third nobody out and Tony Kemp is uh, five to center and homer. And he's sitting with his average at exactly 280. Kemp hits a high fly ball plenty deep. McCormick goes back. He's got it. Both runners are going to tag. Barrera will score. And hustling into second, Cosman, he gets in. Swing and a miss. Jose Urquidy picks up a strikeout to end the inning. Couple of singles. And a sack fly results in a run for the A's, and they are on top three to two. First walk issued by Irvin. Cosman's got it. Cosman a second for one. Kemp on the first. Nicely turned by Tony Kemp, and that's a 6 4 3 double play. That went off the glove of the first baseman, Seth Brown, but that was a shot by Jake Myers. Could very well be his second hit of the game. Here's the pitch, and that swung on and popped up. Foul territory, right side. Brown has a play near the box seats, and he makes the catch in the inning. Is over. And after five complete, the Athletics lead the Astros 3 2. Here's a slowly hit ground ball to the left side. Nice play on the move, Aledmus Diaz. That's not an easy play. Aledmus hitting Seth Brown for out number two. I think he wouldn't mind setting his new career mark here to try and tie the game up. Drills one to left. This one's going to be on the line, though. Didn't have enough elevation. Altuve will take a double out of it. Jose Altuve having a nice series against the A's. He's now five for his last eight. Didn't matter as Cole Irvin ends up snapping off a breaking ball to Correa for he gets the strikeout. So we'll take a two out hit by Kyle Tucker. Tucker at 29 home runs and 90 runs batted in. 
Tucker drives one deep to right field. Number 30 on the year, and the Astros lead four to three. TK, you're finishing strong. Kyle Tucker have a season. 30 home run season for Kyle Tucker. What a year. How about Zach Greinke coming out of the bullpen for the seventh inning, Blummer? Almost 500 starts in between relief appearances. Got him. Zach Greinke is going to get a nice hand heading back to the dugout after his first relief appearance since 2007 as he gets a 1 2 3 inning here in the seventh. That ball tapped towards the left side and out of the booted a little bit by Chad Pinder. 3 1 pitch misses to Castro, so Jason that counts as a close and late. Big ovation for Jose Altuve in what could be his final at bat of the 2021 regular season. Altuve tries to drive one deep to left field, bidding four extra bases off the scoreboard. One run will score. Castro will be held up. Altuve. An RBI double, back to back doubles. Carlos Correa. I'll just let you listen in as he gets introduced for the final time in the regular season of 2021. Fly ball, deep right field. Did he do it to the wall? That ball's gone! Number 26 on the year. In probably his final regular season at bat of 21, and the Astros now lead 6 to 3. He loves the big moments, and that was a big one. Carlos Correa is going to come out of the game. Marwin's going to move to short, and I'll just let you enjoy this moment. So Pinder with a base hit to right, and that'll bring up Brown. Brown hits one deep to right field down the line, and that baby's gone. Seth Brown gets to 20 home runs. With a two homer game on the season's final day. Now it's six to five. Here's Chris Davis pinch hitting. Deep to left field. Did he get enough? That baby is gone. We're tied at six. The Crusher. I told you we were not going to live in a world in which Chris Davis put an Oakland A's uniform on and did not hit a bomb, Kipe. And we're not waking up in that world tomorrow. There's a base hit. <laughs> Add to those late and close numbers, Jason Castro. What a season. That ball drilled deep to left center field. All the way back, Marte. He'll watch it off the wall. Castro, a great read. He'll be held up at third. Jordan Alvarez, a double. Who else would you rather have up needing a runner to score from third with less than two out? There it is. Line drive to left field. Ball game over. The American. Champion for 2021, Yuli Gurriel wins it with a walk-off single to left.